What's happening, everybody? It's your man, the morning star. Just um, was looking at this uh, Willie D uh, interview of T.I., you know, and uh, Willie D going to ask T.I. about, you know, the little spat that him, that T.I. and his son had at the Falcons game. I think they was at the Hawks game, something, you know, something or another. But, um, and so T.I. started getting into, you know, yeah, uh, you know, his son was raised in the suburbs and, you know, that, you know, being from the hood or whatever had you, you know, is different because you don't know where your next meal coming from. You know, you have to warm your water up you know, on the stove in order to take a bath, things like that, in which, yeah, that is true, man. That's the hood for sure, you know. But you can be from the hood, because my point, I'm I'm just, you know, making a little bit of a point, you know. You, but being from the hood, you could still have all your necessities, is what I'm saying, because, yeah, we went through, you had them days like that, but it wasn't like it was every day or every week. You know, every month, you know what I'm saying? You know, it might just be a couple of days out the month, you know, for some of us. Some people, yeah, it might be a couple of weeks or more out the month, you know, because we all from the hood, you heard me? But we from the hood and our struggle still different even in the hood is what I'm alluding to. But, yeah, I'm going to hush a little bit. I'm going to let you all uh, check out uh, part of this interview, man, and y'all go check out the full interview, man, Willie D., and T.I., man, and check Willie D. out, man. He got some good interviews out there. Check out T.I., too, man, an A-Town player. It was, it was public. It was public. This, yeah. this, was, this was a field trip. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, now, what, what, what set him off? Uh, he and I, um, uh, uh, or he and I, first and then him my wife and I have a very very different perspective in in, in, you know in his upbringing Mm -hmm. his childhood you know and um, I think the the largest misconception between he and I because I call him you know I say man you from the suburb you know and uh me, as a person who came from the from, from from the turf, I'm you know in the city. I'm from here, you know, and all while I grew up, I looked there, and it was the the destination. This was you know the place people wanted. And sorry for stopping it, y'all, but I just want to uh, stop it because I agree with Ti on that, man. That was. Like us, man, we, you know, T.I. was on the west side, man. Me and my folk, we was either, like, most, like, my folk, me, people, yeah, we on the east side, south side, you know, Tomerville Heights, uh, East Atlanta, Belvedere, you know, I grew up mostly in Belvedere, which was DeKalb County, you know, but that's uh, that DeKalb, Fulton County line, pretty much, where you coming from, like, Edgewood, East Atlanta, Kirkwood, you hit that Belvedere, man, but... You know, we had. I had my eyes on Stone Mountain, man. I ain't going to lie, because I knew it was money out here. A lot of rich people moved to Stone Mountain, man. A lot of us know that. There's mansions out that way. So, but, yeah, man, uh, I just wanted to say that a little bit, and uh, I'm going to let y'all finish uh, checking out this little clip of the interview. To be, to change their life and have a better way for themselves. When my mama wanted to get me out the hood and go and, and, and put me in, have better surroundings, and better schools, so on and so forth. That way she took me. And that way he grew up. Now, um, and, and also, the necessities being, you know, already present. You know, one thing about the ghetto, the trenches, is not just the quality of the construction around you. It's how we gonna eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, you know, is the phone on today? Is the gas on? It's cold. Am I heating water up in a in a bowl in the microwave to wash up for school? Uh, you know what I mean? Like those type of things. He never had to go through, and and, and that's why I'm always considered at the suburb. Now, I'm not saying somebody from the suburb ain't just as capable as somebody who from the hood. Um, 
um, but we, 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 we must understand, even if they're capable, they're still not surrounded by the same level of treachery. You know what I'm saying? As people who, you know, who from the places like where I'm from. And he and I, I think he be thinking that I think he's soft. You know what I'm saying? Like, he trying to show me that he, he, he can protect himself. And he, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that he's a man. I'm going to stop it there, man, because y'all can go check out Willie D interview with T.I., man. But uh, I just want to say one more thing to that last statement T.I. just made. And that's the problem with people, man. Personally, I would have loved to have come from the suburbs. Because personally, I feel, and it might not have been true, but just personally, I feel that if I would have come from the suburbs, a little bit better upbringing, because I played baseball. You know, I even got a full scholarship. I was being scouted. I had scouts at my games, player, hats on. I'm seeing team names, you understand me? And I missed all that because, you know, I didn't have the right uh, 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 leadership, you understand me? But that's the problem also with the sub suburban people. They want to come back to the hood, player. Man, I, man, that one place I wouldn't wish on nobody, you understand me? Man, 11 years old, I felt the burn of bullets, you understand me? Getting shot at 11. Motherfucker was shooting at me ever since. Guns been drawn on me. I just thank God I didn't carry guns because I could have been a murderer locked up in the pen a long time ago. You understand me? But, man, that was that um, that Belvedere, that Atlanta man, that DeKalb County, in which I ain't boasting about it. But the problem with people, man, that grew up in suburbia, they want to be in there. And, boy, I want to be over in there. You see what I'm saying? But, hey, y'all be easy, man. Y'all y'all stay cool. You know, it's your man, the morning star. And I'll be back on here with another one.